guys. Tony Gerard for Shawnee College Science in Seconds. Uh, I'm out here in Massac County on a really cold winter day uh, in a creek because I want to talk to you guys about a particularly common fossil from around here. Now, this creek here in Massac County exposes a lot of that reddish orange gravel. You know the kind I'm talking about? Uh, it's used a lot on driveways and gravel roads. Years ago, somebody told me it's called Fort Donaldson Church. But anyway, a fossil we commonly find in that is this guy, this cylindrical looking thing that's in sections. And now as a kid, we call these things Indian beads. And prehistorically, Native Americans sometimes did drill them out in the center or sometimes even come that way and use them as beads. But most people that find these think it's a fossil plant stem. But this is actually an animal. And we've got a number of them here. If we could see this animal in real life, and we'll get a picture and stick in here, but uh, it's most closely related to starfish and sand dollars and sea urchins. But it had a stalk, and then on top of that, it had a little terminal part called a calyx, and off that calyx came these feather-looking fronds, and it was a filter feeder. Those feathery fronds would filter little food particles out of the water, and that's how it fed. And they still exist today, and some forms are stalked, and some forms are just like the calyx with the fronds without a stalk. The most common fossil part are the fossils of the, uh, the stalks here. But anyway, really common fossil from the Paleozoic, uh, part of an animal actually. How cool is that?